We're headed out to do some thrifting. Uh, I was gonna go to a different city, but decided against it. I'm gonna go to the local spot, but we're gonna do it backwards. We're gonna do it backwards from the way we normally do it. See, uh, hopefully we get lucky. I, I went to, th th these are the same stores I went to uh, where I found that Carrera track. So we're gonna do all those stores. Um, but you know, maybe doing it backwards will mix things up. It's been a couple days. Hopefully we find something. All right, we'll see you guys at the first stop, which is Thrift Giant. I see some video games up here. Let's see if there's anything good. Let me know. We got um, South Park, The Fractured But Whole, PlayStation, Elder Scrolls, Destiny, Battlefield, Ghost Recon. Looks like that's it. Toys are back there, but they don't, doesn't look promising. Let me check these shelves over here, see if there's anything, um, there's any hidden toys over here, anything like that. A lot of uh, decorations, decorations, decorations. Oh, these are like those drinks, huh? Like not, they're not drinks, but they're like, you can buy like a drink like at a restaurant or something like that. Like Benihana, and it comes with like a drink. <laughs> these are cool. This would be probably, uh, you know, get a little art project out of them. You paint them or something. All right, nothing over here. Let's go. Let's go see the toys. Let's go see the toys. And things are just not looking good from far away, at least. We'll see. Oh, man. A taco rack? That's exactly what I need. That's exactly what the taco lord needs. A taco rack to hold his tacos. Heck, yeah. That's cool, man. Oh, you can make your own Twinkies at home? That's dangerous. That's a dangerous game right there. You just make your own Twinkies. That's, that's not good. Not good. All right. Just like the toy section, not good. We got Guitar Hero stuff here. I used to sell those, but I kind of stopped picking them up. They do sell, even if they're broken, but... I just stopped dealing with that. <laughs> um, and let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, we got a Kylo Ren up here. Kylo Ren, my boy. I just love the Star Wars villains. They're so cool. Just the designs of them are freaking awesome. How much is he? $8.99. $8.99, white tag. According to the thing over there, he's full price. If he was half price, maybe I would have picked him up. Would have been cool to have a Kylo Ren like that, but gonna pass on him. We shall leave you there. Maybe you'll be here next time when you're four bucks. Uh, all right, nothing here. Nothing here. Let's move on to our next store, which is what is next? Uh, Goodwill. <clears throat> all right. Let's see. I think that's from the Descendants. <laughs> Alright, this is still here. The Bowser Castle is still here. Let's see. What else? What else? I gotta keep my voice down because I get embarrassed. When I'm filming out in the bell and there's people near me. I don't see anything down here. Not seeing anything. How about plush? Plush, 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 plush. Nah, nothing. Nothing. We got nothing. Red fox in blue socks. Ah, nah, it's all just generic junk. Which uh, Zombie Bargain Hunter would say none of it is junk. It all makes money. He could take this blue bunny right here and sell it for $50. He's a wizard. A wizard, I say. What is this? Oh, shit. Captain America. Captain America. All right. Uh, let's see if there's anything hidden over here. 
anybody hiding toys over here? What about in here in this dirty oven? Nothing. Um, nope, 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 nope. No. I got football helmets over here. The Saints. Strap wrench set. Oh, is this for like chill out by the pool? Oh, okay. Yeah. Put your iPad in there. Um, no, I'm not seeing anything over here. Just trying to see if there's anything like misplaced or something, you know. But uh, no, didn't see anything. All right, next thrift store we're gonna go to is Goodwill. All right, another day, another toy section. I swear this has been here for a, quite a few weeks now. What is this? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is this? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look, it's a. Um, uh, what are their names? Freaking Monster High, I think. Right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure it's Monster High. I know some of those are worth money. I don't know too much about them, though. Oh, look. Is this like a Barbie surfboard? Is it $55.10? <laughs> uh... Let's see. I had one of these once and I cannot even give it away. It was crazy. All right, nothing on that side. We got a bumblebee right here. Oh, it's just a Barbie car, also. Um, that's it. Any plush? Man, so far we are not doing well. Not finding anything, but. I'm still, oh, it's a Squishmallow. I'm so excited about that um, Carrera track. I tried it out, which, you know what? I think this is a good time to uh, show you guys a little bit more about it. All right, guys, I want to put in this little uh, clip so I can show you guys. I opened up the Carrera Go Ferrari Challenge, and um, there's a receipt in there. And it looks like it was purchased in Florida, Kendall, Florida, for $69.54. Uh, again, I paid $8 for it. And uh, I know I mentioned that I think this one you could swap out the cars. Well, I guess you can, but the other one I was thinking, the one with like the um, Mario Kart and um, the Batmobile and the Speed Racer cars, that one's Auto World. Auto World was pretty similar. But I opened the box and took everything out and it looks like it was never used. Everything still looks new, like clean. It's awesome and it has a couple cars here. Little Indy car, a couple cars here. Little Mustang. The tracks all look good, unused. It comes with extra little pieces. Down here, um, it had two Hot Wheels in it. I think one's a matchbox and another one's a hot wheel, but yeah, everything seems to be here. It might have been used once or twice maybe, but like all the track stuff is still here. So that is an awesome score. Oh no, there's a little piece right there I need to get out. But yeah, so the Carrera Go uh, Ferrari Challenge. You, I know you can find these at, like I said, um, Hobby Lobby. If you're ever in there, go to the Diecast model kit section and you'll see these and the Auto World ones. And also today, I was out in the Arling Irving area and I stopped by a Goodwill and I found this vintage 1992 Batmobile. Missing the can canopy unfortunately, but this one is not one that I'm familiar with. This is my favorite Batmobile, but the one that I had when I was, as a kid was totally different. This one has the gold like rims there or wheels. I don't remember that. I don't, the one I had didn't have the flame. Now it's missing the fins here, the canopy. And the one I had th these lifted up, which it looks like they do. Um, I don't know how you do that, but um, yeah. So this one I, I'm not familiar with. So I was kind of like, what? But it says 1990. 
So, made in Mexico. All right, back to the regular video. All right, well, while you guys were looking at that, I looked around a little bit more, didn't find anything, so we're gonna go to our next stop, which is Thrift Giant. Let's go. I picked her up after all. I was looking at comps on eBay. They're kind of all over the place, but they're not too bad. I only paid a dollar for her. Um, like I paid 99 cents for her, so I guess I got a discount. So I was like, for a buck, Monster High, should be worth the flip. So, you know, oh, I didn't, I didn't notice that one of her, one of the sides is like shaved. I mean, I'm sure it comes like that, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> So hopefully she has her shoes, she has a dress, her hair ain't too bad. So hopefully we can flip it. If you are a Monster High Dolls expert, let me know in the comments what you think I could get for her or if there's any important information I should know. She has pretty cool shoes. All right, let's go on to our next thrift store, which will be our Thrift Giant. I was gonna say our last store, but we got two more stores. Thrift Giant's the next stop. Let's go all right they must have just had a sale because the toy shelf is wiped clean so i think what we're gonna do is uh just skip this place and uh move on to uh thrift city the last stop i did it again i must have double tapped the 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 button because the footage i took i was there uh, i thought i was filming at thrift city and apparently i wasn't because the only footage I got was it, me putting the camera into my pocket and taking it out in the car and putting it on my seat. So, yeah, I didn't get any footage at Thrift City, but it's fine because we didn't find anything. Uh, wasn't anything to see there. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, nothing, nothing. But, um, yeah, that's it. That's it for this trip out, this thrifting trip. Um, we were at these stores a couple of days ago. It was probably too soon to come back. I, but, I mean, you just never know. You never know um, when they're gonna have stuff. I mean, that Carrera track, you know, it, it, I, you just never know. But I'm, I mean, I'm still pumped about that Carrera track. I know I keep talking about it, so you should know how pumped I am about it. Um, but either way, it was cool. We went out. We got that Monster High dog. Again, if you know information about it, let me know uh, in the comments. You know, if you if you have experience with uh, flipping uh, uh, Monster High dolls, I've probably flipped one maybe about a year ago because I don't find them that often. I found one, but she was like, she had nothing, no clothes, no accessories, nothing. I think it went for like, I, I wanna say nine bucks around there, I think, plus shipping. So uh, I don't know, hopefully we have a little better luck with this one. It was only a dollar, so you know, can't complain about it. And she had a dress on and her hair isn't too messed up. So, you know, might be all right, might be a pretty decent flip. But uh, yeah, that's it, that's it for this thrift trip, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe and stick around. Hit that like button. And also, for our next video, I'm trying to figure out if we should go to the Fort Worth bins or go thrifting in a different city. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Should I go to the Fort Worth bins or should I go thrift in a different city? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next video.